recreate it. People's responses are, well, it's not worth my time. Okay, well, so then why is some random person doing this? Right. Um, I talked to mm-hmm. I talked to Marvel Studios. Now, I don't think people understand. So I talked to the Marvel Studios lead VFX guy, Jeffrey Ford, if anyone wants to look him up. I sent him the videos via text, and I told you how long – I asked him how long it would take – for him to make it. And he said that first off, if he had to make it, uh, uh, or, or the first thing he asked me was these would be extremely, extremely really good, like professional fakes if they're faked at all. And yep. second of all, second of all, he said it would take him a minimum a minimum of if you're doing two different perspectives, you're essentially creating three videos. You'd have to be able to do research on the satellite, um, you know, where everything is to make sure that it lines up properly um, so that it can't be uh, poked holes in the, the minimum amount of time would be uh, about, you know, like six months, yeah. I think. I think he said. So and I'm guessing uh, it'd probably take a lot more than that too. But you know, that's just probably for the actual generous, effects. Right? Yeah. yeah. So he said for him it would take about four to six months. So we'll go ahead and share this clip here because one of the things that we put together was we put together a list of all the things that be required. And I'll just run through this real quick, and you'll see that there's just no chance at this point. So you got between four and seventy-two days. It's an original work. There's nothing to copy from. So even the people that are trying to recreate it, they're recreating from something that they're, they're looking at as opposed to something that's like a complete original work. The mm-hmm. volumetric clouds are accurate to animate the cameras, how the clouds form at low altitudes. These cumulus clouds are perfect. There's no discrepancies anywhere in this footage. How to accurately light them when the zap goes off, what MH370 exactly looks like. It's a perfect recreation. The exact turning radius of the B777 wall in descent is actually maxing out the capabilities. This is where the, uh, as you see down here, the Top Gun Maverick artist came into play and said that they actually had to cheat in that movie made in 2022 because it was very difficult to recreate the exact flight capabilities of the airplanes. You have to know where it is because it's right, right. in the Nicobar right. Islands at the right time. You'd have to build the coordinate shift program into the overlay. You'd have to animate those coordinate shifts perfectly as well. What the right. weather was like, because we looked at the weather satellites and it matches the weather satellite situation. You'd have to know how to accurately create the exhaust or the smoke that we see, as well Mm -hmm. as the orbs, as you'll see down here, pass through the smoke and they're accurately distorted when they go through it, which is one of the hardest things to fake. You'd have to know what the thermal looks like that would fool the experts. You'd have to have knowledge of the military classified equipment. You'd have to know that they use the Citrix session and for some reason build a Citrix session into your fake video. You would have to know that the frame rate discrepancy to have the 24 frames per second on the mouse. You have to know what kind of specialized mouse they're using when they're moving the screen around that does move the coordinate shifts. We've uh, linked this to a plural view 3D uh, video, which has a special type of mouse associated with it. Um, You'd have to know what the satellites are in operation, what the false color IR looks like. You'd have to know how to create the 3D proven stereoscopic imagery you see. You'd have to know, again, how to animate those orbs correctly in that particle system that we saw for the forward-facing engine. Absolutely. You'd have to know the MQ-1C drone, the payload. Uh, you'd have to know where that payload is to get the exact angle. Um, then again, how not to use a 2D visual effect in a 3D environment from a low quality 90s video game. But perhaps the most important and interesting one is you'd have to know that we would never find the plane, not even nine years later, because if we find a plane, the whole hoax breaks down. The so whole- ultimately what we're 